So this is my collection of Fantastic Beasts stuff. Um, as you can see, I've got a lot of stuff to show you tonight. So I hope you're comfortable. And um, there are a lot of great products that they made. And I almost don't even know where to begin. But I guess I can start with uh, the Legos. Of course, Lego always makes fun little collectible figures, but in this case, they made a line, a small line, in their recent uh, blind bag set for Fantastic Beasts, and um, we have some of the great characters from the movie, like Tina, Grindelwald, um, Jacob, whose briefcase opens, and you can see the pastries he makes inside of it, which is really cool. Credence was one of his uh, leaflets. Queenie with her strudel. That's another Grindelwald. Seraphina. And of course, you can't forget Newt's commander. Unfortunately, you can open his briefcase and it doesn't transport you into the world of Fantastic Beasts, but it's still really cool. He comes with a Niffler, and if you look very closely, um, he has a bow truckle sticking out of his suit, which is really cool. So, great line of Lego minifigures. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is this vault book that is really really nice it's uh, the Newt's Commander movie scrapbook I kept this um, this on right here but if you take it off it the book is very very pretty and it looks like an old style uh, it's kind of glued on but it is a very beautiful book hardcover and uh, it also has that old 1920s look to it which fits the narrative of the movie and under that there's a picture of a Niffler so and um, in the book when you open it there's a great map of the United States from the 20s and um, muggle worthy picture of Newt I got this book at uh, Ollie's for three dollars and fifty cents and it's full of the little uh, removable items it's a vault book so there's some cool stuff inside of it like right here here's some character cards Tina Goldstein, Jacob, Percival Gravis, and on each card has the picture of them on the front, and something on the back that sort of fits her personality, like Queenie Goldstein. Uh, she works for Makusa, which is the uh, the American version of the Ministry of Magic. Tina Goldstein, she's an Aura. Jacob is a muggle or nomads and I guess that's why they have the nomad sign on him and Percival also works so that they have a creepy like he's a spy which he kind of is because he's spoiler alert he's really Garrett Grindelwald Here's um, a poster for Shaw for U.S. Senator. That was one of the subplots of the movie. Uh, here's some section about speakeasy culture. And they have some playing cards. Um, it shows the wizard card game in the back of it. Which is very cool.
I wish they had a whole set, actually, because these are very cool. I really love this book. And they show you lots of details about the production of the movie. Here's the Witches Live Among Us brochure. The whole brochure is in here, which is cool. This is very cool too. Nope, I made, I'll show you that in a minute. There's a Niffler here. And this is some cards. These are posters, magazines, covers. Which is just really, really cool. There were props in the movie. So that's just a nice keep keepsake you can have if you buy this book. Seriously, if you have an Ollie's near you, go to Ollie's and pick one of these up before they're gone. Because this is just really cool. If you're a Fantastic Beasts fan, you'll want this. It's the different ones from the movie. Of course, the Niffler. Here's a... I'm not exactly sure how this works, but it has to do with his fantastic creatures, and... It's more of just a prop gag, but it looks cool. It's a nice little thing in the book. And it shows and details all the different fantastic beasts from the movie. Which is probably the best part of the whole movie, is watching all of the different creative creatures they made up. That, to me, on the big screen, made the movie a lot of fun to watch. All of his little ecosystems he had inside of his briefcase. There's Jacob in his new bakery. The last page also has another map you can pull out. And um, I don't want to pull these out because I just want to keep this book pristine. But I think I actually might go to Ollie's and get another one just so I can pull all of the uh, attachments out. See? $2.99. I'm sorry, $3.99. Not a bad deal for what you get. So let's set that aside. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this thing real quick. This is... Um, This is called the Niffler Challenge. It's a, it's a little silly game. And um, what you do is you have a Niffler sitting on this base over his treasure hoard of jewels and gold and stuff. And what you're supposed to do is one player puts a pearl necklace on it here. And then what you're supposed to do is take one of these wands and you're supposed to um, place coins. You spin the spinner to see how many coins you place. And you're supposed to place coins until you can get him to tip the coins over on one side or the other. It's actually... Um, It's made by Jack Specific, and it looks cooler than it plays. In all honesty, and the Niffler is already kind of leans to the left, so it's not exactly fair. Whoever's on this side is generally always going to win. But if you like the movie, and if you want a fun little decoration, <laughs> or just a, a conversation piece, I got this at Bargain Hunt for $3. So, um... Even the little 1920s coins are kind of cool. So it is a neat little thing. I wouldn't really call it a game of skill, per se.
but it's kind of neat if you like the movie. See, it really is weighted on the left. It's hard to even... I'm piling all these coins on to this side and I still can't get it to tip over. Yeah. That's what's supposed to happen. <laughs> okay. What's next? I want to show you some things you can only find in Europe. This is a sticker album put out by Panini and purchased in Germany. And uh, this is unfortunately not available in the United States, but this is for the first movie, Fantastic Beasts. The, uh, the album itself, first it has an ad for the Lego Dimensions Fantastic Beasts game, which I have, and I wish I'd brought it out to show you. But yeah, that would have been a nice thing to add to this video. Um, the only Lego game right now you can get for Fantastic Beasts, and it had a few stickers in it, and then places to put all of your Fantastic Beasts stickers. And it's really a nice album because Panini makes the best sticker albums. And they're just kind of a, addictive to collect. And we got some fold out pages. As you can see. And if you, here's one of the other secrets, if you reverse it, suddenly it magically transforms into a Harry Potter sticker album. And when you turn the pages, suddenly it's all Harry Potter stuff. It's the Harry Potter fold out. So that's a pretty cool trick. Yes, right before your eyes, this became a Harry Potter album and not a Fantastic Beasts album. Is that cool or what? There's a coupon. But I'm going to keep it. Since this is a Fantastic Beast review, we're going to keep it as a Fantastic Beast album. See? Amazing trick, isn't it? Um, for the next movie, there was this album. And this one I really like because... It looked more like one of their magical newspapers from the movies. And when you add the ventricular stickers to it, in some cases, you'd have movement. So some of the pictures might actually move. So this is what it looks like. And each, see, like, the yellow is a regular sticker, like this regular sticker. The maroon is a slightly nicer sticker, like maybe a metallic sticker, like this. Then, and as you go up, the, the status of the sticker goes up. To the nicer, the nicest. And finally, when you get to this right here where it's rounded edges, that's ventric ventricular. And you get a sticker like this. That actually moves. These are um, doubles that I had because to fill up an album, you gotta buy a lot of these. I probably have enough to fill up a whole other album in here. As you can see, some of these are, are Harry Potter and some of them are Fantastic Beasts because the newspaper one covers Harry Potter. It, it, it's in chronological order, so it goes from Fantastic Beasts all the way through to Harry Potter. And 
more some free stickers that came with it. Let's see. Most all the Fantastic Beast cards are nice ones. They were the more the rarer ones to find. And then we get to Harry Potter. And it goes all the way through to the Deathly Hollows. And then it ends with some ads on the back to buy uh, the DVDs, Blu rays, the books, all the fun Harry Potter stuff. So, and here's a multi pack of stickers that I got in Germany. And, um, or actually, my friend he brought these back. These items were actually brought back because I filled up mine. But um, he, these are for my wife so she can get her album, which is this one, finished. Because I finished mine. But this is what the stickers look like in a multi pack. And as you see, it was bought in Germany. There's one, two, three, four, eight packs in here. And I can feel there's some ventricular ones in them. Now, let me show you my filled album. This is what it looks like when it's complete. Bow Chuckle, Dumbledore, Harry, Ron, and Hermione, and then Newt and the gang right here. And I'm going to give you a visual tour of this album. I got a metallic newt. Some of these stickers you put together like a puzzle to make bigger pictures. Some nice ventric ventricular. I always want to say ventricular. All of this is in German. But if you don't speak German, you can follow what's going on to the scene. Some of these stickers are just very pretty. Foil, metallic, it just... It is storming outside tonight. This is probably my favorite one right here. This photo sticker of the cover of his book. The Elder Wand, Queenie and Jacob in Paris, and when you put the stickers in, it combines nicely with art that's already in the album, like the poster for the circus, and then this circus sticker, Nagini, Nagini becoming friends with Credence. Credence and the turmoil he's going through. I love the style, the 1920s style, the Art Deco. It is all in the movies. It's one reason I really I have high hopes for this franchise. I, I really am enjoying watching it. It's another good one. So this is a fully complete album. And I'm trying to show you some of my favorite stickers. That I ended up getting. Here's all of the Fantastic Beasts, which is cool. All of them. Then the movie covers. And there's a sticker for each one. So definitely the the high point of the sticker album right here. Now we get to Harry Potter and it starts on Privet Drive. All the way to the end. The section for Ron and Hermione. Dumbledore. Two stickers. Dumbledore in action. 
and a great picture of Hogwarts. Ableforth Dumbledore. Quidditch. All of the professors of the dark arts. The champions from the Triwizard Tournament. The sad ending to the Goblet of Fire. Magic vehicles. The car, the night bus. The Hogwarts Express, the Hagrid's bike, um, the Sorcerer's Stone, Crystal Ball, the mirror, it's actually the sticker is really a mirror, which is cool, um, the Elder, Elder Wand, Horcruxes, all the Horcruxes, parcel tongue, Bellatrix the Strange, and that is the end of my fully complete album. <laughs> so, um, if you want one of these, my your best bet is to go on eBay if you live in the United States and buy one um, then try to find dealers who will ship you the stickers you can buy individual ones so if you want to put one of these together you know it's a lot of fun and it makes a great newspaper sticker album that is just a, a really great design so anyway I guess that about wraps it up for this video tonight and um, I hope you enjoyed all of my Fantastic Beast stuff. And I hope if you haven't watched the movie, you go out and watch it. And uh, thanks again for coming by to see me tonight. And I'll see you tomorrow night. Good night.